This short video will address communication. Communication is the exchange of feelings, ideas and information. It can be a simple exchange or a key message or a way of influencing and persuading others. The communication process or cycle is a four-part process. The sender sends a message to the receiver who provides feedback to the sender. How can we communicate? Communication includes a wide range of methods including face-to-face -face conversations, writing or reading, addressing or listening at a meeting, transmitting body language, and messages or views people get from our personal behaviour. There are three main communication styles, assertive, aggressive and passive. Assertive communication is the best type of communication because it allows you to express what you think and feel in a positive way and it's all about creating mutual respect. Passive communication on the other hand is about avoiding giving in and not expressing your feelings and this is disrespectful to yourself. Aggressiveness also is ineffective because it involves the use of put-downs, yelling and physical violence to communicate a message and this is disrespectful to others. So what is effective communication? Effective communication can be delivering a clear message to your intended audience. The ability to transmit and receive information the capacity to discuss, listen and facilitate within a group. Defining a good communicator. Good communicators are able to translate ideas and words into action. They're able to build credibility and trust with the people that they're working with. They're good at listening and asking questions and they have the ability to engage an audience. There are six principles of effective communication. Number one, know your audience. People differ in the way they speak, listen and understand because they have different interests, skills and reactions. It is very important to appreciate that when you're planning your communications. Number two, be clear. Sometimes communication is just for entertainment but it may also be about passing on information that is critical for someone's personal safety. It is important to be clear on what you are trying to say and why. Also, keep the subject matter clear and the message too. Complex, tedious or boring messages are not easily expressed or understood. Make sure your message is simple, concise and relevant. Number three, match your style to the audience. If you tailor your style and approach to the people that you're talking to, you will get the message across more effectively. Consider the way that you'll get their attention. Can you make your message entertaining? Should it be handled in a formal or informal way? And what type of language should be used? Number four, facilitate feedback. The more feedback you receive, the more effective you will be in your communication. Learn to ask people what they thought of the communication and be willing to make some changes to improve your approach. Number five, comfort is crucial. If people aren't comfortable, they can't concentrate. Physical comfort, distractions, health and any emotional reaction to your approach will have an impact on the effectiveness of your communication. And finally, number six, Respect builds communication. Messages move better when the people passing them on have credibility. Ethical behaviour and responsible leadership improve your effectiveness as a communicator.